Okay, so let's continue the discussion. So we will try to incorporate the first example which has the uh, yielding and rupture. Kaya lang doon kasi sa unang example, binigay natin yung value ng u. Okay? But this time, um, tayo yung maghahanap ng u. No? So incorporate lang natin before we move on with the staggered connection and block share. Okay? So for the tension member shown, determine the total service load, dead load plus live load if the live load is 4 times the dead load and use A36. Okay. So again, this is a plate, but this time it doesn't have any hole. Okay. So first, okay, gagamitan natin ang LRFD. Okay. So the tile, letter A, we will have it as LRFD. Okay. <clears throat> so nine muna natin. Para doon sa yielding natin on gross area. So, we will be having here as yielding. Okay. So, ang mga formula natin, we have the PN equals to FY multiplied it by the AG. Okay. So, yung AG natin, okay, ka na doon. So, that would become equal to, so yung cross section ito. So, that would become equal to, this is 12 and this is around 200. Okay, so we will be having as 12 multiplied by 200. So that is equal to 2,400 mm squared. Okay, and then we can now solve for the value of the nominal capacity. We can, so we will have in A36, so you have here 248 multiplied it by the area which is 2,400. Kaya lang i-divide na natin by 1,000 para maging kilonewton. So, you will be having here 248 times 2,400 all over 1,000. So, you will be having as 595.2 kilonewton. Okay? So, this is for the yielding. So, we'll move for the second limit state which is called the rupture. Okay? So, we will have it as rupture. Okay. Ah, lagyan muna natin. Ultimate muna. So, we can have it PU equals to phi PN. Okay? We're in the phi for this one is 0 0.9. And then you will be having as 595.2. So, for our first PU, so we can have it as 535.68. Okay? Okay? So, for the rupture again, we have the PN. This time, we will be having as FU multiplied it by our effective area AE. Where in our AE, it's just equal to shear lag factor U multiplied by the area net. Since wala tayong butas, yung AG natin or yung AN natin is also equal to our AG. So, that is equal AN and that's equal to 2,400 mm squared. Okay? So, for the determination of U, since this is a plate, so tapos, connected siya by longitudinal weld. So, that is around case 4. So, i-check natin ngayon yung width niya. Okay? So, we will be having this one. Ito yung kanyang width. And that is around uh, 200. Okay? Tapos, yung length ng weld natin. Okay? And that's around equal to 3. Okay? I-check natin ngayon, ha? So, yung value ng W, which is 200, and then yung 1.5 W natin, that's equal to around 300. Okay? So, makikita natin yung length natin, which is also equal to 300. And with that, we can say that uh, our L is equal to 1.5 of W. Based on the table, okay, nandun sa NSCP natin, for this case, ang gagamitin natin U is around 0 0.87. Okay? So that, we can have it now the AE equals to 0 0.87 multiplied it by the AN which is equal to 2,400. So 2,400 times 0 0.87. So you can have it as AE equal to 2,088 mm squared. Alright? Then we can now solve for the nominal capacity P sub N. So that's equal to 400 multiplied by the AE 
So 2,088 and then we'll divide it by 1,000. So we have the nominal capacity, okay, equal to 835.2 kilo newton. Kaya lang, ang gagamitin natin para makuha natin si PU, 0 uh, PPN, and that's equal to 0 0.75 of 835.2. So our PU is equal to times 0.75 will be having as 626.4 kilo newton. Okay, between the two, okay, so use PU equal to 535. Okay, yung mas maliit na. So, you'll be having 535.68 kilo newton. Okay, so kung meron ka ng PU, ang tinatanong kasi is the load and live load. Since this is an ultimate, so we can say that PU, yung load combinations natin given the dead load and live load, that is equal to 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 of live load. Okay? Ngayon, lagyan natin, we have here 535.68 as our PU. Tapos, papalitan natin si live load, no? So, 1.2 dead load and then 1.6 kaya lang yung live load ko that's equal to 4 of the dead load so 4 multiplied by the dead load with this the only unknown is our DL okay so we will have it as 535.68 is equal to 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 of 4 times the live load okay so we can have it for the dead load equal to 70.48 kilo newton while the live load, that would become equal to 4 times the dead load. So, multiply it by 70.48 kN. So, our live load is equal to times 4. So, 281.94 kN. So, the service dead load and live load na gagamitin natin, that would become equal to 70.48 plus we add the live load. 281.94 so our total service dead load and live load using the LRFD method is plus 281.94 is equals to 352.42 kilo newton okay. so this is the answer for letter A okay so we will try to find the ASD on the ASD method okay so, bagoyin ko to. Okay, so you will be having as B for the ASD. Okay. So, okay na yan lahat except for this one. Okay, palitan natin to. Okay, so this one would become A na, no? So, allowable. So, that's equal to PN all over omega. Okay? Or that's equal to PN natin, 595.2 kN. Okay? Ang omega natin is 1.67. So, we have the allowable equal to oops, 595.2 divided by 1.67. So, we will be having as okay, PA is equal to 356 0.41 kilo newton. Okay? Next. Punta tayo sa rupture, same pa rin yan, except dito. Okay? So, mababago na tong uh, line natin hanggang pag-determine ng ultimate. Okay. So, we will be having now the PA for this one. Again, that would become PN all over the omega. Where in the PN is 835.2 kN. And then for the rupture, our safety factor is 2. So we will be having as 835.2 divided by 2. Or that's equal to 417.6 kilo newton. Okay? So we will be having this one. So mas mababa si yielding. So... Ang allowable natin is 356.41 kilo newton. Iyan na yung sagot. Actually na. Okay. Kasi, 
Ang allowable uh, sa ASD natin, remember, ang ASD natin is just equal to the dead load and live load without factored load. No? So kahit ano pa yan. Pero kung gusto nyo malaman kung ano yung dead load, so we will be having 356.41 equals to dead load plus 4 times the dead load. Okay, so 356.41 divided by 5. So you will having the dead load equals to 71.282 kilo newton. And while the live load, i-multiply natin by 4. So that's equal to 285.128 kilo newton. Okay? So again, service dead load plus live load. Okay? So we will be having as a uh, 2.282 plus 285.128 So again, that is equal to 356.41 kilo newton. Okay? So just in case lang na gusto nyo pang malaman yung real value ng dead load and live load Pero kung hindi na at ASD na yung gamit mo, automatic naman yun Kasi unfactored load naman yung ginagamit natin Okay? So that's for our sample problem with the determination of you Okay, so we will move by the next video for this staggered connection and as well as the block share.